Hi everyone, in this video we're going to start doing some of the coding for these buttons. So let's get started. So, so far I can already draw on my canvas because I turned on the touch drawing for the stage on. So we're good to go there. Now what I need to do is I need to start coding these buttons so I can change colors and so that I can wipe the screen. So let's get let's do that. So I'm going to go to blocks here and I want to start off with the blue button. So I'm going to grab the blue button here and I'm going to say, all right, when the blue button is clicked, I want the drawing color to change to blue. So if I go down over here, I can go over to stage and I can choose the drawing color right here. So I can say from stage one, set drawing color two, and I want this to be blue. So I can go ahead and choose a blue color from here. It's kind of navy, let's get a lighter blue there. All right, and let's test it. It's always important to test things out and make sure this works. So I'm gonna click on the blue and see if it draws in blue, and it does, so that's good. The next thing I'm gonna do is the red, the yellow, and the black. And it's pretty easy to do that because I'm just gonna be doing the same code but for different buttons. So what I can do here is I can just duplicate this event. So I'm gonna just duplicate this event, Control C, Control V if you're on a Windows, Command C, Command V if you're on a Mac, or you can just right click and hit duplicate. And this one will be the red button, and we're gonna change the drawing color to a red color. The next one is gonna be a yellow button, so we're gonna change the drawing color to a nice yellow. The next one is going to be the black button. So we're going to make the color black. Cool. Let's test all this to make sure it works perfectly. And if I draw, I start out in black, I go to blue, I go to red, and then yellow, and then back to black. Black. Oh, something's wrong with our black button. I forgot to change the color here. So I can see that I didn't change it to black. Now, I should, now it should work, and this is why we test our apps after every time we do something. Great. Now I want to set up the wipe button. And so the wipe button is going to be fairly easy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the wipe button, and I'm going to say, hey, when the wipe button is clicked, I want it to wipe the screen. That's all going to be found under looks. So if I go to looks, I can see it says clear drawings on Canvas 1. So I'm going to just drag this block into the wipe button, and I'm going to live test it, make sure it works. So I'm just going to draw and hit wipe. And there we go, we got that all figured out. Now there's something else that we wanna do. We wanna be able to control the width of the lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a slider component and I'm gonna put it below this row. And this slider component is gonna control the width of the line. So I'm gonna look at the properties over here and I'm gonna decide what I want the properties to be. Well, probably the max width I'd want anybody to have is like 30. So that's what I'm gonna choose for my maximum value. The minimum value, I want it to be one because I think if you go all the way to the end, you should be able to draw a really thin line. And I want it to go up by one and I want it to start maybe at like 10. Okay, and now what I need to do is code this. So I need to go and look at the sliders, different blocks, and we can see that at the top here, there's slider on value change. This event happens every time the, va the value changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it, and I'm gonna say, hey, every time the value changes, it's gonna spit out this value. And I wanted to make that value be the line width. So I'm gonna go over here to the, uh, stage component and I can choose the line width, the drawing width. Now I can grab this and move it over here. And I don't want it to only be 20. I want it to be whatever the value is of the slider. Cool. Let's test this out. So uh, if I bring it down to the bottom here, I got a really thin line. And if I bring it here to the top, I get a really dark line. Very cool. In the next lesson, you're going to make sure the user knows which color they have selected. I'll see you there.